Good morning, YouTube family, and today we are going to start an episode 5. This week we're working on my workroom. Yay! But first, let's have breakfast. And today I'm going to show you my favorite um, hot chocolate drink. So my hot chocolate is made kind of different. Um, with mine, I'm using Cocoa Classic from Lane Lake, and you can follow the instruction here, but me, I like to use two scoop of their pre-made mix, and I also like to add some candy bar in there, and it's really up to you. I just really like the crunchiness and how amazing this candy bar smells afterward. And of course, I need to have my sweets. I'm having green tea and raspberry filling cake with my hubby. He's having the same, but I'm only going to show what I'm having because it's definitely the same thing. But yeah, I'm just going to stir it up and once the candy bars melt, I just enjoy myself. And I must say, I adore these green tea and raspberry cake um, purchased at Chinatown. Bon appetit! So of course, after yummy breakfast, we're going to start working. And this is the room we're working on. If you guys forget, this is the room right next to the kitchen. And what we're going to do to it today is we're going to add the wall molding. The stick that you're looking at is actually the original um, wall molding that we want to use. But then we changed our mind. We wanted to use something that matches the rest of the house and the first floor more. And so we decided to go with the medium size. Both Chris and I really love this French Parisian kind of look and so we decided that we're going to do this for the whole house but each room will have its own personality. So we're working on the workroom. This is where the computer is going to be going and just recording of the live show because it has the best place. For now the live show will be held down once and we're all settled in. And so you'll probably get a full room previews and whatnot um, after we moved in so yeah I'm kind of excited and today I'm really tired from having GNL last night so yeah. We're definitely going to flatten the backyard out so that we can plant more things and add a fire pit as well as um, wooden fence that goes up a wee bit higher so that our neighbors can stop entering our yard. Can't you guys just imagine how beautiful it looks once it goes all around the room? Gosh, I can just I can just see it now. It looks so amazing. If you guys remember in episode one, I kind of played around with like all these extra pieces of molding and I created this one shape. And from that shape, I kind of envisioned something. I talked to Chris about it, and now what he's doing, he's bringing it to life having a vertical like kind of rectangle um, shape on the wall really just open the ceiling up making it look higher than it really is and that's the look we're going for because we already have high ceiling and we really want to emphasize it I have this OCD to design thing even on top of the door I'm going to add this one design that um, kind of just continued going throughout the whole room this design is tedious because we're adding medallion to it and so the spacing have to be like perfect and even if it's a lot of work I feel like it's really going to be worth it when it's done. This room is going to be a Dior Inspire room. I saw it once and I just fell in love and I'm like I must have it. This room will take on the same color scheme as the living room and the kitchen. It will be light gray with white. So the bottom half is white, all the trims are going to be white, but the walls are going to be the light sterling gray. Um, I really like it. 
mainly because it gives it a nice pop. So slowly, the design or decor of the whole house is changing up and getting more and more detailed. Doesn't the wall look so much taller already? Now with these things that emphasize it. And of course, I'm only gonna show you one wall, um, mainly because I don't have time to show you everything. And um, I kinda wanna surprise you guys in the end once the room is fully done. So right now, as I'm watching Chris work, I'm already thinking about what I'm going to do um, to the room upstairs. That's a thing, you know, your mind never really stops working. These inspiration, once it becomes a reality, once it comes to life, you kind of have to continue up your game to kind of always improve it. So here's the thing, I'm leaving in April and I won't be back to July. The reason why we're only finishing one wall per room is so Chris will remember what it is that I want done in each room. That is why we're designing one room at a time, one wall at a time, so it gives him something to do while I'm gone. So every room will have a semi-similar and different design. We're still working on that and hopefully by the time I'm back from Omaha, or house be fully done and I can get ready with the whole DIY tutorial on house decor. Doesn't that sound exciting guys? It's turning out uber well and I'm super excited. Anyways, how do you guys like it so far? Thumbs up. Let me know in your comment down below. So between those square edges, we're going to add a medallion that we already ordered. It's coming and you're not going to see the medallion until the full result is done. But pretty much it's just you have to make sure whatever medallion you buy, it has to fit into the square and still have um, space in between. We're going with a 2 inch medallion. We're almost done here, we're just going to finish the angle and then add the shoe to the bottom of the floor and call it good. Mainly because like I really don't like the rough edges and Chris doesn't either and it just looked really annoying. But yeah, we're going to add the shoe and then call it a day. So on the left hand side, we already add the shoe and on the right hand side, we have to continue adding the shoe and let it go throughout the whole room. And the best part is because it's a square like room, we don't have to work with too much angle and it's just super fast. So it started snowing outside and it's coming down hard and according to the weather it's going to get really gross today. So I really just want to finish up at this point and just leave but then I realized that we kind of have to measure all the rooms upstairs and kind of talk about the design before we can actually leave because it's a hassle drive back and forth. So after adding the last few to the shoe we're going to go upstairs, measure out the room and then to be continued next week guys. I've been working since 8 in the morning. It is 4.30 p.m. right now. Whew. Um, I'm happy with the result. I really love um, everything and how it looks right now. Everything is coming together. I know what kind of decor I want for even the top floor. I think it's just the wainscot to really just open the walls up, make it look so much more taller, give it so much more definition. And anyways, now we're going to go grab we thought about going somewhere to eat at a nice place but then it started snowing really hard and we both got really lazy on getting ready and showering whatever so we're just going to eat locally anyways I'm going to have my dinner and then I'll talk to you guys afterward all I have to say is welcome to Boston Welcome to Boston, and it's crazy weather. So, um, my hubby is so sweet. After dinner, we were talking about my files and how it's lost, and so he bought me this My Passport for Mac. It's WD, two terabyte, and pretty much it's like an external hard drive. And two terabyte is a lot more than like all of my flash drive is all together and so I think this is so amazing. I'm hoping that it works well for my Mac 
and it's affordable. I, maybe we're gonna get the five. We were gonna get the five terabyte, but then those that little hard drive was huge, and so this is more affordable. So we chose this one instead. So I'll let you guys know how good it is after I use it for like a month or something. Time to work.